Hey guys, welcome back to Halo 2. It's been a little while, but now we're gonna continue on with our mission of collecting the Index. Now to do that, we've gotta battle through hordes of Flight, Sentinels, and Sentinel Enforcers. Oh, there's one. Onward to the Sacred Icon! Oh, there we go. Yeah, so sorry it's taken so long to get back to this. Uh, I made a community post on it. I kind of got sidetracked by doing like other videos and other real life things as well. And then Halo 2 didn't want to work when I did try the one time. And then when I did try to record a few days back, the recording was basically unusable, both the game recording and the camera. So here's how I, I can actually get it done. Get down from there! Yeah, these guys are just everywhere. Oh. Oh. And you know, you kind of have to feel sorry for the Sentinels and Sentinel Enforcers, because they've got to deal with us, that is still very loud, and the Flood. And while we're traveling, we're going to see the remains of Miranda's expedition to get the index. Uh, actually, Rocket Launcher's just not going to... Whoa! Excuse me! Oh, that was a flood doing that. Oh, 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 jeez. Yeah, chill down, chill down. Move it, move it. Yeah, as I was going to say, we're going to be seeing the remains of Miranda's expedition to get the index. Or dead marines. And when you actually get to this warthog here... You do actually hear one of the elites say, Commander, we have found a human vehicle! And then you get Artas's response, but they don't always say it for some reason. I don't know if there's a certain trigger you have to do. Um, there's a scorpion down there. Man, they are really, those elites are really outmatched. Oh, down they go. Oh, the scorpion's gone. Great, I was hoping to use that. Oop. What? Okay. Whoa! Oh, yeah. just. And yeah, this is the only time we see flood commandeering vehicles. Whoa. Okay. Get rid of him. Gonna get him without hopefully damaging it. Oh, oh, up he goes. Uh, okay, that's heavily damaged. I was really hoping to get the scorpion. Switch grenades. Okay, let's try doing this on foot to see how we do. I don't know if that's electric guitar or some other instrument. Going <laughs> And there goes the pelican. Now it's possible that's Miranda's pelican. Because we know we all know what happens to an Abraclad at the end of this. Oop. Oop. Sentinel beam. So sentinel beam. That's gonna be more effective against the flood. Yeah, I know. This is gonna take longer. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh! Can I survive? Can I survive that? Yes. Little shortcut. Whoop! Now you can't see me. Ha ha ha! Whoop! Whoop! I'll just leave them to play with each other. Now there's gonna be. Oh yes. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. There we go. Uh, over there. Why were you not meleeing? Get in the tank. Get in the tank. Hup. Hup. 
get down from there. Both tanks kind of have their pros and cons. The Scorpion tank is a lot more accurate because it's it fires in a straight line. Nope, and again, no. This it, this thing is more of a mortar, so you can't always hit what you're aiming at. Whoop! Oh! Damn it! Rocket flat. You guys are a menace in combat evolved. Okay, so it's firing down at the flight, I'm guessing. So those are definitely humans in there. Okay, I am, I'm just going to try to stealth past here. Just grab a sentinel beam. Hip. Down there. It's basically a giant needler they have. Okay. Whoop, and there's the library. You can see it gets ever bigger as we get closer. Where are you flood even aiming? Ah, control cords getting in the way. Whoop, whoop. Thank you. Now I will take this and try not to die again. Okay, I need to watch out for that rocket flood. Okay, you think it's gonna show up? There! Got him! Oops. Get down! I think I'm marginally more effective than the Sentinels. Oh. Got him. It's nice they just completely disintegrate when you hit them. There. You. Got him. Actually, let's just stick with the one we have. Die, Flood! Get him! Ah, missed. Oh! Got him. I can mortar better than you. Of course, we all know that none of this would be happening if we hadn't lowered the shield, but, you know, we're the stupid Covenants, we don't know that the shield was the only thing holding the flight back on this ring. Oh! Oh, and you get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him. We can blow that one up because we can't take the vehicles any further. We're gonna help the Sentinels out. Got him. Now we take down this thing for sir. Stealth mode. So now we're going to go into this Sentinel factory. Which, just about the fires, was the one that somehow blew up. I still have to wonder, what the hell blew it up? It made it fall out of the sky. Did the flood get on board or something? We have a couple of dead flood bodies. Or I should just say flood bodies. And stealth. Oop. We'll just leave them to mess with each other. Oop. I'm not sure. I forget it. No, I don't think so. But here, we see, sort of, and have also get destroyed by something. No idea what! Fresh beam. Okay, I'll just 
Just gonna make sure I got the right direction. I wouldn't say it's easy to get lost in this area, but you can end up accidentally retracing your steps. You have to wonder if the flood would be tricked by a cardboard box. Have a skull with a solid snake. <laughs> Sword. Kill these guys. Yep. Yep. Gotta get that tank. Just uh, hold still. Jeez, I swear the flood are drunk. There we go. Yep. There we go. Yep. Excuse me! I was gonna say, it's kinda of funny how this thing can move sideways. Out of my way, Gauss Hog. Okay, so right here... Yeah, is where Artes sends some reinforcements. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the trigger is, but there are times where he will say, Arbiter, I'm sending you a squad of my most elite troopers. Do not squander their talents. But he doesn't always say it. So again, I don't know if there is some kind of trigger that's needed. Gauss cannon may be a bit on the small side, but it can really cause a lot of damage to vehicles, so you don't want to take it lightly. Hit. Okay. Kind of. Oh. Yeah. You also want to make sure you don't wind up underneath an enforcer, because it will grab you and damage you, and I think it's strong enough to actually destroy the vehicle you're in, especially on higher difficulties. Okay, I think the flood that appeared through there have a rocket launcher. What does one of them do? Yep, so we're just gonna bombard the area. And there are also some turrets here. I'm not entirely sure who put them here, whether it was maybe Miranda's Marines set up some defenses to keep the flood out. Uh, excuse me, hit the turrets. Whoa. Why are you just standing there? Oh. You're standing there because you're on manning a turret. Whoa. Did I get him? Got him. Yep. Yeah. I can only assume this was done by Miranda's people. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the gondola section, which is another area that I do believe people hate, because it is a very slow section, just like the elevator in the gas mine. 100? Oh, good. This is a pretty good combination against the flood. It's even better when you have infinite ammo. Now for the cutscene. 
Now we are really going to be getting into the library. Arbiter and Artas. It's kind of nice how Arbiter actually slowly regains Artas's respect throughout the game. Must be after the icon. Yep. On your way, Arbiter. I'll deal with these beasts. Yep. He slowly starts to respect him again over the course of the game. And now we have Tartarus coming in. I see that power didn't join you. I'll do what I can to keep the flood off your back. Yeah, he's going to support us. Mostly. And these elites appear out of absolutely nowhere, which I've never commented on. And there is an Amberclad. And anybody who's watched Hidden Xperia's video on how they got infected by the floods knows that that is a really stupid place to park. All it takes is one pelican loaded with flood to get up there. Careful what you wish for, buddy. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know who hit me. Yeah, take this. And you take this. Yeah. Can I get any of them from here? Nope. Not really. Oop. Whoa! Off he goes. Well, he didn't last long. Wishful thinking, Elite. So we actually get the flood appearing through this little area right here. Can you... Yes. Ooh, shotgun. That'll actually be helpful. Why did I zoom in? I wasn't even trying to. Get down! What was that about the mausoleum? Oh, he's dead. I don't even want to think what this is like on Legendary, because you really have nowhere to go. Floor. 
Come on, Flat, put up some kind of challenge. And you're gonna betray us by the end of this, Tartarus. I know your story. You're in cahoots with truth. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I think this is the points where the elites flight actually have their shields. Reload. Got him. Ooh, doing, doing a bit of a tango there. Exit. Chop up your body. Okay. Two allies left. Oop. Get down. Look at the bright side. Maybe they'll shoot him down. <laughs> I love that. You're gonna wonder what happens. The icon arbiter for the covenant and the journey. You're gonna wonder. Well, you're gonna wonder what happens to them after we leave, like whether Tartarus kills them. So now we got these infection forms that don't bother us in the slightest for some reason. And here's the remnants of Miranda's Marine Force. So they clearly put up a big fight. To try and keep the flight back. Also, this doesn't have quite the same design as the library from Combat Evolved. Now I think it's an enforcer. Okay, double cutscene time. Or I guess triple in a sense. Test it properly, Miranda. No. Gotcha. You know, your father never asked me for help either. <laughs> I guess it runs in the family. Mackenzie, Perez, how's our exit? They're dead, Johnson. You hear me, Marines? We got trouble. How exactly does that happen? Like, what kind of mechanism does Johnson have on his back that can do that with his battle rifle? Oh, here comes over there. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> and for some reason, that knocks him out. How exactly does being thrown knock him out? Ow. Oh. Excellent work, Arbiter. The Hierarchs will be pleased. The Icon is my, my responsibility. responsibility. What's your responsibility? Now it is mine. The betrayal is revealed. A bloody fate awaits you and the rest of your incompetent race. And I, Tartarus, Chieftain of the Brutes will send you to it. When the Prophets learn of this, that they will take your head... When they learn? <laughs> Fool. They ordered me to do it. Yep, the Prophets were tossing against you, Arbiter. <sighs> and now he seemingly dies. Seemingly being the operative word. <laughs> So right about now is when the Brutes start attacking the Elites, and that's when the Civil War begins. The Great Schism, as it's called. 
that Arbiter's not really going to be around to see it, at least the opening stages of it. But now Chief and Arbiter are going to meet for the first time, and we're going to meet the Grave Mind. So this is a taste of what happens when the Flood all are left to their own devices without anyone to get in their way or interrupt them. This happens. Because we only see a proto grave mind in Combat Evolved. Here's a fully f fully fledged grave mind. But we never see a key mind, which is, if I recall correctly, a grave mind the size of a planet. Like, what does that look like? Does one of the books show it? Actually, unless they have images, they wouldn't. Okay, let's go say hello to Mr. Gravemind. Hey, Chief. What? What is, is that? I, I am a monument to all your sins. You're gonna wonder how they actually got the Gravemind's voice. Like, what kind of audio editing did they do? Relax. I'd, I'd rather not piss this thing off. Demon. <laughs> Good advice, Chief. <laughs> this one is mission and nerve. And has its mind concluded. Whatever that means. This one is but flesh and faith. Oh, flip him upside down for some reason. Kill me or release me, parasite. But, but do, do not waste, waste my time, time with talk. There is much to look how nightmarish this and thing looks. Like, it doesn't look any way near this creepy in the original time. graphics. That's obviously now a hardware I limitation, though. Talk, and you shall and here's listen. regrets and Greetings. penitent tangents. He's red because he's rampant. I am the prophet of regret. Council of those... Hi, Hierarch of the Covenant! A Reclaimer? Here? At last! We have much to do! This facility must be activated if we are to control this outbreak! Won't do anything! Stay where you are! Nothing can be done until my sermon is... Where did his other arm go? Not true. This installation has a successful utilization record of 1.2 trillion simulated in one actual... It is ready to fire on command. Of all the objects our lords left behind... Seriously, where did this other arm go? Did the flood eat it? They know nothing of the great journey! And you know nothing about containment! You have demonstrated complete disregard for even the most basic protocols! This <laughs> And this one's great journey are the same. And now they're absorbed. Your prophets have promised or at least regresses. I don't know what happens to, men to penitent tangents. But you will find no salvation on this ring. Those who built this place knew what they want. I wonder if it's possible to get your own voice to sound this way with a lot of editing in audacity. As they so did. you kind of have to talk like this to start. This thing is right. Halo is a weapon. Your prophets, prophets are making a big mistake. mistake. Your ignorance already destroyed one of the sacred rings, demon. It shall not harm another. If you will not yeah. hear. He starts off hostile, but you know, by the end of Halo 3, they're buddies, basically. There is still time to stop the key from turning. But first it must be found. You will search one likely spot, and you will search another. Fate hath us meet as foes, but this ring will make us brothers. You think that's a bit of foreshadowing for what happens in Halo 3? This ring will make us brothers? Oh, I, are those explosions? I can't tell if those are explosions, or just lights. Okay, you... Just jackals and grunts. There are no elites. Ow. We are Ow. All of us gravely concerned. The release of the parasite was unexpected, unfortunate, but there is no need to panic. In truth, this is a time to rejoice. A moment that all the Covenant should savor. 
For the sacred Truth is in red. Been found. Mercy is in blue. What colour was regretted? Beyond was he in guarantee. yellow? Were they going for the all three primary colours? And nothing. Not even the flood can stop it. Oh, oh. Boo. Boo. <laughs> I love that. Boo. <laughs> Kill the demon. Kill the demon. And we're just gonna pause there. <laughs> uh, I love the humor in Halo. Like, as serious as it can be at times, they still manage to put some comical moments and dialogue in it. So that'll do for this episode of Halo 2. We're hopefully getting back into this because I would like to finish this game at some point and get onto others and also get into Halo 3. So we're now gonna be chasing truth, trying to get the index back. We're gonna be fighting the flood. Mostly brutes now, because they're going to be introduced as a proper enemy. And I do understand that a lot of people have problems with the brutes in Halo 2, because they seem like unrealistic bullet sponges in this game. But they actually do fix it in Halo 3, and I guess ODST as well. But we'll enjoy that in the next episode, so I will see you guys then.